I'm Ann McAvick at the live news desk, and I just spoke with our governor, Gavin Newsom, about that DACA decision. This is an issue he has long championed, and he said even some of his staffers are dreamers themselves. To see the tears in their eyes uh, it was a really glorious, glorious decision, glorious day. Were you surprised? Yeah. Uh, look, I, 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 I was so proud to be able to rip up the statement that we expected to put out at 7.30 this morning. Uh, I, I don't want to ever see that statement again. But the governor said this was just one battle in the long fight for immigration reform from sanctuary cities to border security to work visas. He says the federal government's lack of action is a serious problem. We still persist uh, in uh, not being able to meet uh, our responsibilities as a nation. The federal role on immigration is paramount to be advanced. So what's happened in this country, and it's well known in San Francisco, substantively well known in the state of California, is you have a patchwork of some responses to the broken federal system. California's attorney general has also been a committed proponent for DACA. He tweeted this morning, Today America told the dreamers that this is their home. Justice prevailed for every dreamer who has worked hard to help build our country. Our neighbors, teachers, doctors, and first responders. Hashtag here to stay. And speaking of workers in the health care industry, an estimated 57 thousand DACA recipients are on the front lines. An important note in this time of the coronavirus pandemic. I'm Ann McAvick at the Live News Desk. Back to you.